starting here yeah so you can see this is our sap logon pad so you have to configure the system entries this all are our systems only in our landscape this all are our systems only so if you go to this is the button you can see here this is the button if you click on this button if you go to the options then here you have the sap logon options configuration files okay configuration files in the configuration files if you put this path if you put this path in the configuration files if you put this path c g u a so why because so instead of configuring the one we have the centralized folder what is for the sap gui sap gui so sap gui for xml so this is a centralized location right you can see this is a centralized location so here we have the all the logon pad entries are there so if you don't want to configure individual entries you can ma you can you can map this path to this one then close it then you will see the all these entries you no need to manually configure this one so it's like global entry means everyone can use same entries here okay just want to give some hint on this area okay so and also team team also we want to change the team you don't want to like this team like something like that i don't want some like this team means you can change your team when you go to the visual design you want to change the team settings font settings whatever you want you can change it but i like signature team that's why i put the signature we want to something different things we want to test it you can test it but there is no issues just only team will change the functionality everything remains the same okay so that's the so even then after that you need to log into the systems any system you can log in okay this is our production system ccp so this is our development system and this is our test system i have written here in the subject line itself so this is on the different migration system so migration is going on this one oracle db okay this is a different system so last two you can use it tst ecp nwd these are our training systems in the landscape development test production system okay we can use this one okay so here here you can log in any one of the system actually you can log in so any system you can log in you can execute the transaction codes and you can practice it you can execute and you can practice the so transaction codes and everything you can practice it okay so log in with ddic the passwords i already shared in the group we are the group right in the group i already shared it so here you can log in you can log in with any one of the system so then so continue with this icon so you can use it okay so i logged into the system this is a home page here we need to execute the transaction codes and everything we have to execute it so i see there are multiple dumps today 14 dumps are there yesterday today 13 dumps are there so you have to investigate why this dump got occurred why this are occurred in the system in st22 you need to investigate this issues so why this got occurred so the application application got terminated so there is something wrong here okay get okay. gui issue error in the sap gui issue so sap gui patch release of your systems okay some gui related issues we have this issues okay so no problem so it's a gui related it's not related to the any issue it's a gui related issue that's why we see the this dumps let me check in the production systems also we have the similar issue i think we have that production also we have a similar issue i guess yes production also we have the similar issue so it's a gui issue gui issue means our logon pad issue this logon pad so this logon pad issue we have go to the above logon pad so okay this is the initial version i guess so that is the reason we have to update the patch here we have to update the patch okay that i will take care of after the class don't worry so let's start our discussion now okay so it's clear to log into the sap systems executing the transaction code up to now you are clear right so you are clear and also we discussed about the dialog yesterday so normally if i talk about the the architecture wise so this is our presentation layer 
this is our sap layer sap application layer sap is the application you can remember take this note like sap is the application this is the layer so from here we all are the here like here we are the users so we log into the our application from here we will log into the our sap application we will log into this here right we will log into the here and here we will do the all the transactions and everything we will execute here so the transactions will be stored into the database level so that is the different concept again so, but now we are in the application layer in the application layer when you click on in your logon pad when you double click on you are you are seeing when you double click on your sap is opening your sap screen is opening when you double click on it your sap screen is opening here when you double click on it your sap screen is opening here so when you double click on it sap screen is opening here how fast you are getting the screen here you can see how fast we are getting the screen here so we are getting the immediately we are getting the response from our sap system immediately we are getting the response from our system side see all the opening the sap systems are opening means which are up and running so how you are getting here screen so here how the logon process works here okay let me draw one uh, pictorial diagram which can help you to understand to understand the how the logon process works and everything so in sap whenever you click on whenever you click on the sap logon pad here we have the dispatcher actually so dispatcher okay dispatcher we have the dispatcher dispatcher right you can see in the logon pad everyone has see the dispatcher so dispatcher if you see if we go to the each application server each application server there is a dispatcher concept when you go to the each and every sid we have the dispatcher apart from that work process we have the dispatcher okay so what is the use of this dispatcher in the name itself we have we have the word is there to understand dispatcher this plus patching dispatching which means dispatching the your user request to the the available work process dispatching your user request to the available work process so this is our work process take example this is our dialog work process so this dispatcher will process will send the request to the our dialog work process this is our work process right just just given the some little bit uh, so bold diagram okay work process okay this is our work process here so work process here here we have the dialog work process this is the dialog work process so dialog work process is the dispatcher so this this, this is sap gui sending the request to the dispatcher so dispatcher will take your request maintain it in the pipo order pipo order means first in first out it will maintain the queue it kind of queue it will maintain the queue before order so first in first out dispatcher will take the request it will maintain the request in before order first in first out first in first out order queue it will maintain the queue in the order first in first out okay this is the order it will maintain it before order first in first out order so then one it will it will take the request it will hand over to the the available dialog work process it will hand over to the available dialog work process then so the the dialog once you log in then you can do the you can carry out the your work and everything so if i go a little bit what type of work the what type of validation you are doing here so the system is doing suppose when you click on when you click on the button so when you click on the button you are getting the sap screen right so which means dispatcher taken your request here dispatcher taken your request then after that once you log in once you log into the system once you log into the system then the user id and password authentication is happening here the user id and password authentication is happening here how this is happening how this is happening here so how the work process is checking how the work process is checking the your user context user settings and giving the response back to the user how it is checking so that is the if i go one step one step deeply then i will explain it here how this is happening here right so we need as a business consultant we need 
some little bit background of how this process is working here how the process is working here so you are in the sap gui you are double clicking the sap gui you are getting the sap application layer screen how you are getting here dispatcher will take your request it will maintain in the queue queue means first in first out there is no recommendation of the any request so we all are 10 members are logged into the sap system who who is the first person who double clicked and who logged into the system so the dispatcher give the priority to the first priority to that person and will process the that request it's not like that okay i am the person so for first my request should pick, pick but i have not logged into the first i am the logged into the 10th person my request should pick like that there is no recommendations works in the system the recommendations works in the outside like in our we are in the queue in the different that is a different story but in sap there is no recommendation to handle the user request something like that system will take care of everything so the user who are logging into the first that request will pick up the first request then after that the next request so who are doing this order so dispatcher so dispatcher will take it it will maintain it in the order then will hand over the request to the the available dialog work process available dialog work process so dispatcher will wait until so if the work process are not free dispatcher will wait then hand over the request to the so dialog work process then dialog work process process your request that is the way it will happen so okay so that is the thing it will happen here okay so in the dialog work process in the dialog work process what exactly happens let me write down some steps here then you can understand clearly what exactly happens here okay let me write down the steps here so the step number 1 once the once the user user clicks once the user clicks on the sap system from gui in the gui from gui once user click on the sap gui so you will get the you will get the so the request means the request the request will be sent to the request will be sent to so dispatcher dispatcher so then dispatcher dispatcher will take the request will take the request then forward to forward to available available dialog dialog work process this is the you need to follow okay user gui then dispatcher then dialog work process then dialog work process process dialog work process so then what next after the dialog work process in the dialog work process each work process there is some internal mechanism each work process there is some internal mechanism so it will not show us no one ask questions on the what is this internal mechanism to understand better i am explaining here okay each work process each dialog work process so there is a some internal so there is a some internal i told you right each work process will block the some amount of memory right each work process will block the some amount of memory in the system right each work process will block the some amount of memory in the system right in that memory what exactly is there in that memory what exactly happens so here so here in the each work process there is a task handler task handler task handler there is a one process actually this is the internal mechanism okay so no one no where it, it is it will it is mentioned so it will it one it will not show as well is a task handler so in the task handler whenever user click the sap gui you will get the sap screen dispatcher will take dispatcher will take and dispatcher assign to the work process that is fine but inside of the work process there is a task handler it will assign the task to your user request it will assign the task to your user request then it will assign the task to your user request then it will go and search in the user context user context user context it will go and check in the 
user context that is called the role in concept role in role in means so here we have the user password user and settings just write in the just settings user passwords and everything user context basically user context we will call it as the user context this is called the role area this is called the role area so you will you will get confused actually that's why so i won't explain this topic now but yesterday someone asked right what exactly happens and everything so that is the reason so i am trying to explain the request now okay so if you are getting confused let me know regarding this even so then i can skip this one i can explain it when there is a we have the real scenario to explain it are you guys are following yes you are getting confused regarding this one role area what is this one you are getting confused means let me know i can stop it here why because the it's not the correct way to explain it now itself that's the reason so yesterday also i have not explained this one are you guys are good no till now yeah. tell me frankly if you don't understand tell me frankly then i can i can skip this one i can explain one more way no. skip sir okay skip, sir. fine yeah that's fine yeah that's why i i don't want to explain this all these things now so okay you can understand now just only understand gui then dispatcher work process take your request and work process process your request to the database okay this is what you can understand right this is what you understand till now this up to this one you are clear right yeah so up to this yes. one yeah up to this one it's very simple so your sap gui then when you click on the sap gui then dispatcher will take the request then dispatcher will assign to the work process then work process will process your request then you will get the response so this four steps you can remember only this four steps that's it okay that's done okay so then that's fine so we done that one so yesterday we discussed about the we are discussing about the sap work process sap work process we are discussing about the work process in the work process in the work process we are discussing about the so d v e b m g s so dialog we discussed right dialog so dialog work process it will take the user request and it will process the user request right dialog work process is taking the user request and processing the user request fine so what about updates are update so update these all are the for family members only so how we are the family members we are the seven family members same as like in the sap system also these are the family members so in the family members how the each and every family member will perform their individual tasks in their day to day life here also each and every work process will process the request right so dialog only taking the user request then completing the user request then what about next so after the logging to the dialog user dialog user will do the something like some changes some transactions he will perform it after that the transactions the record it kind of updates he will do the some updates some records he will update it so here after that the update work process update work process will update the will update the records will update the records into so db level db level will updates the db level so that is the work the update work process will take care okay so it's not like that dialog work process is will taking the responsibility and it's not end to end everything will not do so only user will log into the here user will do the transaction here then whatever the updates are happened what are the changes are happened those changes will go and database level and it will update into the database level tables that is what update work process in the name itself we have updates updating the user records updating the user records which are done in sap level okay that we can remember so what are the how can i check sir here whether the my update is correctly working or not in sm30 in sm13 we can check the we can check the if any 
failed update requests are there if update request are not we can check in sm13 so in sm14 we can check we can check whether the we can check whether my update is whether my update is active or not active or not we can check in so we can check in the so sm14 let's go to the system here then if you see sm13 is the transaction code you can see here here you can see the so update related request here so if you know client you can put if you don't if you know user you can put what user if you don't know anything just put the star star in sap level star means in sap level star means it's like all star means all user star means all users all user star means all users so it means you want to check only cancelled updates then check you want to to be updated we want to check v1 updated v1 executed v2 executed we want to check all all either failed or not just click that one you want to check today's one no no, no. i want to check from yesterday's one yesterday's to today's date you can check this one then just click on the execute button this is a execute button right so okay the response is not we are not getting the response because of sap gui issue so we'll patch the sap gui there we'll patch the sap gui to the latest versions why because if you see here if you execute any transaction code the response we are not getting because of there is a dump there is a dump sir occurring here so why this dumps are occurring means you can see the installation of the sap gui in the presentation server is faulty or absolute this is the error of the application server program so it's not the sap so it's the error in the sap gui in the integrate sap gui the gui is error in the sap gui so that is the issue here so here now what i am doing here so scanning the installation media it is checking actually so one of the issue so you can tell to if anyone ask you whenever we execute any transaction code we are getting the error we are getting the error here so we are getting the error so what is that error means it's a dumping anything it is dumping because of the sap gui issues sap gui issues sap gui issues close it all close it all then again open the sap gui let's see let me check in others okay so let me go to the sm13 administration update records just click on the okay button then it will give the results to us it will give the result to us saying that so whether the updates any updates are failed or not which are done by the users so that information will give to the here what information will give the scenario here so that is what we are it is checking see here it is processing you can see this button this processing which is means it is checking it is pulling the data from the system and is giving the rest for result back to us it will give the result back to us but this is also we terminating this is also terminating due to the sap gui issue okay so let us fix that sap gui issue now okay we'll fix that issue so that is what we need sap related issues we want this type of issues we require why because we need to fix this all these issues then you can understand what type of issues we may face in the real time as well okay so so this gui having some issues this gui this patch is having some issues i guess then what we can do we can so this gui having some issues then we can uninstall this one so i because so today i updated the patch actually so okay that patch is having some issues that is the reason i am un uninstalling see here sir so, yes so actually this is uh, installation phase no so while performing any t codes in installations phase how do you perform gui Uh, login G pads, uh, this okay gui installation also same actually it's very simple 
we need to download the sap gui from the sap marketplace definitely everything we have to download it from the sap marketplace only right sap softwares or sap gui anything anything you need definitely you have to go to the service marketplace you have to download it so once you download what we have to do here so that i will explain it now why because now we are going to install the sap gui again so how to install that sap gui that is right that is what your question right actually while uh, while getting errors in installation phase uh, we performing some t code in here so we got error from uh, error regarding installation yes, yes so yes. how do we perform the login patch sir if any uh, software we uh, didn't install how do we perform that logon pad using the t codes that's my uh some os level we can yeah. you mean to say if we are if If GUI is not work, we can perform from OS level. From OS level, hmm. like Windows or Linux. Okay. Which means how to perform the troubleshooting? You want to say or how to install the SAP GUI? Uh huh. How troubleshooting? Right. Troubleshooting, right? Okay, okay, okay. So in this case, in this case, so uh, in our case, we are able to log into the GUI is working fine. but whenever we execute we are getting the error right so that is the issue so in this case we can also check the logs actually there is a each and everything whenever you install the sap logon pad there are some log files will be created here log files will be created in the folder log files will be created in the folder in that folder we can check in that folder we can check so are there any errors or not any software any software when you install it it will install under the foreground files right in that foreground files there is a specific folder if you can go to that folder you can check the log files but sap level how to check st22 we can check to check the dumps are not same thing here if you are unable to log into the sap level sap logon pad related issues voice level we can check oh. is it managed to update any patches or uh, continue with the uh, old uh, version uh, if we uh, uh which one the no, current uh, issue uh, oh uh, uh, yeah you are get, uh, getting a sap gui issue yeah that is what it is working but yeah today only today morning only i have i had i i want to actually what i did is today i tried differently actually what i did is so i want to configure the sap gui that xml file for all users at a time you don't want to singly configure that one for that one uh, without applying the patch i have done the i have done the so i configured but it's not working so okay let me update the sap gui to next patch level then configure it even though it's not working but sap gui opened so then i started working on that one but in our class when i start so i have not executed that time transaction codes when in our class when i try to execute the transaction code it is giving the dump like some patch issue something like that so that's the reason i did the uninstallation then so now we are trying to install it again we are trying to reinstall the the main patch again that's why when you do anything you do in the sap system so you have to log into the sap system then we have to so perform the so some basic transaction codes you have to execute it so this is our sap logon software the original sap logon software you have to go to the here go to the presentation gui windows 32 here setup all.exe just click on that setup all.exe see it's opening in the so terminal mode or terminal mode so we don't want to server mode now no which means it will open the gui here we can do the installation installation means just open that one it will start performing the installation just click on the next button close sap gui i selected so then click on the okay microsoft excel okay c foreground files sap front end in sap front end it is getting installed next button
yeah it is it is installing now so in the foreground files sap folder the front end folder is creating here the c foreground files sap 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 front end it is creating in the foreground files x86 x86 sap front end here sap gui is getting installed here whatever the configuration you do everything will be saved here only everything will be available here then you can log into the here so maybe log folder everything we can do from troubleshooting here we can do the some troubleshooting here then okay so that the product is successfully installed then you will see the icon in the sap login pad so open this one okay so now open any one of the tool again okay so why we are not opening this one any system i know the reason but why nothing is opening it's not connecting so anyone can guess why we are unable to log into the any sap systems here are these parameters are wrong instance number sid yes it's correct why because we used in the five minutes back only we used this one all are correct so why we are unable to log into the sap systems why anyone knows the reason system may be in it is in stop state yeah sap systems are stopped why because we have restarted the system we have restarted the windows os we restarted that is the reason you can see all are in the gray color gray color means it is stopped then how to start sap systems how to start the sap systems then how to start the sap systems so it is the so if it is the windows if it is the windows systems definitely there is a mmc go to the sap mmc right click on the sid then start stop the restart you can use it you want to only stop you can use the stop you want to start you can start you want to stop and start you can use the restart right so that is the one so if it is the linux linux systems what you have to do you need to execute the commands stop sap stop sap all you want to stop all then or start sap all simple commands in the linux mission just commands stop sap start sap it is the windows just you can go to the here right click start we'll ask the user id then enter the user id and the password here then that will start here while starting here you can see so first ascs will start see here first ascs is started which means message server and queue server are started then after that you can see here after that so the next next system next the next process will start here see here the next process is starting here so dispatcher then work process all the work process will start here see here all are starting here so but still in the new status it's not the correct one to take the user request to log in now why because the work process status should be Status should be what process status should be in the so so waiting status the dialog work process status should be in the waiting status to pick up our user request so still it's not started completely not completely started it's starting mode so one work process come to wait status so no need to worry about the BTC we made dialogs to pick up user request still if you your ECP just double click on the ECP. you want log in now you want log in now why because see here it is connecting connecting to sap connecting to sap connecting to the sap now we got it immediately how how why it's taken some time why because you see everything is green everything is green all work process in the waiting status one is the running which is means your user now we got the sap screen now right now we got the sap screen we logged into the system so who whose request taken first here your request taken first request here sap user request is taken here whoever login so here dispatcher maintained in the fifo order 
your request is opened here request is opened here request is opened here so now let's see go to the sm13 sm13 click on the ok button so now you will see the screen here so now see there is no error message now why because in the patch level in the patch level this is the patch level worst patch level today morning only i updated let me delete honestly it's wasted our time so the patch level so i i installed that is the reason we got error now we fixed the error see so we are executing all the transaction codes now successfully and we are getting the uh, results as well see we are getting the results from the dumps and everything see here type and those messages underscore type underscore x timeout error dbsql error all the errors dumps we got it okay so your assignment is today end of the day you have to fix all these errors you have to tell the reasons why this message type and this excel means we know this timeout error why this got occurred dbsql error why this got occurred this repository error why this got error you need to do the some analysis so if you ask me i will open here then i can check why it is happened when it got occurred so all this information i can tell here so i can take why it is got occurred the error occurred in the sap gui error analysis i can say like this is a sap gui issue now it got fixed like that you need to investigate this one this one this one this three you have to investigate that is your assignment for today okay so like that now that issue is fixed now okay so now we are discussing about the let me back to the our point now let back to the our point now so we are discussing about the update right our gui issue fixed we know how to stop and start the system so that we everybody knows so now so in detailed way in detailed way we will discuss during the starting what happens what will happen we are in the initial stage okay don't go in that de- that much detail so okay so update we are discussing about the update updating the records update record update the request into the table level so it will update it up till update it so that we go to sm13 see here we want to see are there any updates are stuck or not so check filter out the time the just click on the execute button then you will see there is no zero records are stuck here zero records are stuck means there are no failed updates here there are no failed updates here remove the dates see all all the dates are there any updates yes we have the updates see seven update records found when four six means so two days back 35 so we have the many updates are stuck here okay something like parumala sap star user all updates got stuck in the sap system so in this case what we have to do see here update got stuck so they have done something work here using the object and some transaction code the transaction code got stuck here that got stuck here from some, some interval write document something got failed here so update was cancelled that time so try to reprocess repro repeat the update repeat the update it started see it's updating now it's updating so still it is failing why because it's a duplicate it's a duplicate one so that is the reason it's not getting processed it's not getting processed here so number get so amendment interval missing so which means it's like so here try to reprocess once it's not getting processed then we need to inform to the respective users we have to inform right we need to inform to the respective user he is the user so we need to copy the user so i know this user is the parmila morning batch person so i can go to the i can inform to her your your request your transaction got stuck so check whether it is required if not let me know i can go ahead and delete the request from the sm13 i can delete it so sm13 i can go ahead and delete the this record okay got failed so when this got failed if there are any issues with the update then this updates will get failed here this update will get failed in the sm13 if any issues with the system or if any issues with the our update work process this will get failed as a day to day we need to log into the our sap system we need to check we need to log into the sap system we need to check whether the any any in the last 24 hours are there any updates records failed or not we need to check in the system if it is failed failed means user done the transaction is transaction is not updated at ddv level is not reflecting 
which means something is wrong it's not something is wrong in the system something is wrong here in the system so in this case in this case so what you can do what you can do so you can so just to inform to the it try to repeat the update it is still failing you can inform to user it's a duplicate update so can we cancel or not like that we have to update it they are okay to cancel it you can delete the update records that is the update work process so sm14 we want to see whether my update is really active yes it's really active you want to deactivate you can deactivate the work process if you deactivate now user done any transactions now i deactivated the update work process i am going to edit the something here i am going to so suppose like i am going to create something here one screen i deactivated the update so one more screen i i am going to create the one use one, one one something some updates i am going to assign it to the fitness system initiating now in the system i am going to create one user this user will go and store in the database level right so i am going to do now but will it create no why because my update got deactivated i i my update got deactivated i deactivated the update so which means your update is getting delayed update is delayed please wait which means update is i stopped the update forcefully i stopped the update which means if you go sm13 so check in the system you see the update update failed update got stuck here previously we have zero records here we have the v1 processed v1 update is processed but it's not updating into the so database level is not updating not updating here right so now you see the entry now i will go immediately here i will go immediately here i will take the one more session here go to the take new session here i will go to the sm14 now so i will just activate i will activate it immediately then i will come to the here just refresh then this will process now this will update it now so here this will save it now why because immediately my update will pick up here see here the user is created then immediately here if you go and refresh the entry is gone table level it is updated so why which means earlier i stopped the update i manually stopped the update then that is the reason it's not updating anything the screen is frozen which means it's not updating anything in the system it's a frozen so that is the reason so you see whatever you you are doing so whatever i am doing here i want to create the one user so something like i am doing something in the system the changes are not getting updated it's not getting saved why because your updates updates are having some issues updates are having some issues that is the reason it's not updating it's not updating in the database level so now everything is gone which means it's updated so which means it's updated all are updated here so that is the reason you can see so update is the very important concept here update is the very important here so that is the update work process okay the next one is the e for nq nq work process it's a very simple this all work process are very very simple so nq work process its nq work process responsibility is the locking mechanism locking mechanism locking mechanism okay uh, before i go with the locking mechanism any questions from anyone regarding the update work process okay so update you know this in the name itself we have dialog taking the user request and processing the user request nq locking mechanism which means whenever the user log into the system it will lock it will lock the whenever it is working it will lock the it will lock the your user request why because to avoid some inconsistency so inconsistency means suppose example so this is the sap screen right sap geo screen 
so here i am there here here i am there so here i am trying to edit the one of the transaction i am i am trying to edit the one of the table about some company modes company codes some company codes i am trying to edit suppose like some some entry i am creating in the here i am creating one entry so at the same time here one more one more in the xyz person also trying to edit here trying to edit the same company code means the system will not allow you to do the same changes why because the transaction is already being locked by some other person so you have only display access something like that you will get the error message what if if it is allowed to do the your work as well so if you allowed to do the edit work you are doing you are already creating the work this person also creating the work means some inconsistency will happen here why because both are creating the same means some inconsistency will happen so that's the reason to avoid this type of inconsistency the np work process will lock your user request will lock safely lock your user request will pass it suppose if i take the example bus ticket i am booking okay this is the window seat window seat window 32 window 32 seat i am booking right we can check check we can we can lock this ticket right so i am the person i am trying to trying to book the same ticket here i am trying to book the this window 32 seat ticket i am trying to book here and one more person also he logged into the system and also he is also selected the same ticket he is also trying to book but he cannot book why why because the first person i had i i just selected it i am going to the transaction to process the my transaction payment details and everything so until you completion until you book successfully or you was this seat is locked this seat is locked by some other person which means some other person is already reserved the seat so your transaction is not happened successfully means again when you refresh your screen other person can see okay this is in the waiting list so that i can go ahead and book the this ticket so what happens if the same ticket if there is no nq work process what will happen if there is no nq work process what will happen this person will book the same ticket i also will book the same ticket then who will sit inside in the seat on the, on the seat who will sit right we have to we both we have to friend because of the this nq mistake so this person and this we both have to fight whoever wins then that person will go and sit in the seat right that will happen so that is the reason when you are booking the ticket that person is already locked then you will see the lock entry nq persons will say like so hi boss this person is already locked the your seat are already being processing by other person something like that you will get the error right let's see here in the system here how we will get the error suppose i am the person i logged into the basis user okay i am going to the smlg some of the transaction code i am going to create something here okay so i am going to create here so one more person one more screen i have opened here i am also opening the yes same transaction code then it will say like so hi uh, this is locked by the user and you can only see that display is possible which means other person already locked this one other person is already locked and he is doing something here so it will not allow you so if you go to the sm12 is the transaction code to check what exactly happening with my system why i am not allowed to book here do the transaction if you go to the sm12 here and that is nq related nq related just click on the maybe if you know table name if you don't know anything just leave it if you know client just you can leave it empty if you know the user you can just leave the empty 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 or put the star just click on okay button then you will see the lock entry you can see the lock entry who locked your table so the particular person particular client at what time what is the mode enq so so then what is the argument it will not show here so it will show the all the information here it will show the all the information here now i went to the here now i am doing my work here i am doing my work here i am doing my work i am going to create something here i am doing my work here others should be display only why because you cannot do anything here when i click on the save button save button 
then done my work is done my work is done then if i go to the sm12 click on the refresh your entries are gone now why because you are not the work with that entry you are you are you are out out of the transaction now you have done your work now other person who got this issue if you if he execute again if he if he execute again so then he will get the he will be he can use it he can use the transaction he can go ahead he can delete whatever he want he can do that okay basically so basically some of the transactions you cannot multiple things cannot do multiple times like multiple persons at a time cannot do one person is editing another person can see what is exactly in the table entries that is what so the nq work process here genuinely will lock your request here until completion of your work you will lock your request if any other person doing the same it will tell it will tell like uh, hi boss i already locked your user request some other person already editing this one please try again sometime something like that we will get the some messages right outside of the sap as well maybe you are booking the ticket about sometimes you are asking something you will get the this person is already being looked or editing something something like that right so same thing here in sap so nq work process will do the same symptom same behavior that is the responsibility of the nq work process <laughs> okay understand Hmm. And it should not be more than twenty-four hours, right? Yeah, yeah. Coming to the more, yeah, that's right. Correct, Deepika. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, as part of the daily monitoring, sometimes what happens? The user is genuinely opened the transaction. Then, so he shipped is over. Then he went to the outside. Then again, he will come after the twenty-four hours. But he unfortunately tomorrow, some more today, so he is on leave today. So, so he already opened the session. so normal i already open the session then still uh, but there is a urgent request other person to perform it right other person to should perform the entry he has to configure there is a business urgency but the person who went on leave he already locked the transaction he went outside so he is not answer answering to the phone anything in that case what we have to do here so as per the sap standard or as per our organizational policy the whatever we alignment we have done with the customer if any lock entry as part of our daily monitoring this is the daily monitoring transaction code all this work process when you are when you are logging to the shift you have to check the sm12 see are there any lock, are there any old lock entries which are older than 24 hours or 12 hours or 18 hours normally 24 hours some organization they may say like so 12 hours 18 hours so if this is the old load the done 24 hours then we can take the approval then we can delete the lock entry who is the user try to contact him if not available take the approval from your manager then delete the lock entry you can delete the lock entry then the lock entry is deleted so that is what you have to do so if any user which are older than 24 hours we have to cancel it we have to cancel that one okay sm12 we have to cancel the all the lock entries we have to cancel it. okay so this is the one we have to perform the activity this is the one we have to perform the activity okay this is the nq mechanism so any questions from anyone are you guys are getting the new guys especially these are the new words actually so that's why i'm not going very deeply just just initial things only i'm explaining guys are okay right yes okay 